Next up is the Granum Caddis Pupa. Simple pattern, tied on a size 14 or 16 scud hook with a little brass bead. Not looking to fishes fly deep. Basically fishing below the surface, maybe somewhere in the top third of the water column, but when trout are taking the pupating caddis or emerging caddis, they're taking it right below the surface. Or when the insects, when the females go back to lay their eggs, they die, they lay spend, and they begin to get flushed underneath the surface. I'm just fishing this fly pretty shallow. I think one of the biggest mistakes I made in the past was fishing a lot of emerger style patterns too deep in the water column. So most of my emerging patterns are going to be tied with a brass bead or in some cases just some lead wire tied on the hook. That's it. Fishing is pretty shallow. Don't always need to go super deep. We're going to dub. Our body is going to be a Yan Saman black peacock ice dub. So my favorite dubbing for just about everything these days, we're going to start dubbing this body about a third of the way down the bend. We're going to start wrapping forward. Very simple pattern here. If you're tying this with traditional peacock feathers or fibers, then you can definitely need a rib. But I think when you do a, a decent enough job on the body, the dubbing, make a nice tight body. I don't think you really need the rib. If you feel like it's going to give you a little more natural feel, maybe a little more durability, that's fine. But with this peacock ice dub, these, these fibers are pretty short, compact. They don't really get pulled out all that much after a couple of fish have hit the fly. And as a result, it's just one less step I can take off the process and spend more time on the water. So there is the body. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a brown CDC feather. We're going to tie this in tip first. This is going to be our soft tackle. You can use a partridge. You can use a number of materials. Lately I've been tying a lot of my soft tackles variations with a CDC. We're going to wind back a little bit. What we're going to try to do the reason why I'm winding back a little bit is because I'm going to try to get at least hopefully two or three wraps of this feather in before coming up to the bead. Kind of orient that fiber so the fibers are standing straight up and down. There's one wrap. There's two, one wrap right in front of the last. And here's three. Come from behind, switch hands. What I'm gonna do now is just tighten up the bobbin. Come in here from behind one more time. Three good wraps. Gonna snip that stem. Keep in tension here. Fold these fibers back. I'm going to build just a small base. Completely unnecessary. But what we can do is just build a little bit of a hot spot. Like a little chartreuse. Or in this case, what we're using is a iced up caddis green color. It doesn't really matter. Just something that gives it a little contrast. A little caddis green. We're going to try and make one, not there, two wraps on top of each, yourself right there. Come on the front side, right there. And now we're going to take our whip finishing tool and finish off the fly. And again, this is such a simple, simple little pattern. I'm going to, any stray fibers, try and make this look good for you. One, two, three. And this is why I think sometimes thread color doesn't matter all that much. If you can just leave enough of a gap between the body and the bead, you can just use any color and you can slide it in between that little cavity. And that color, that thread's not going to st st stick out like it normally does. Okay. 
Finish that. Now to finish this fly, we're going to take these fibers, stroke them back, and we're going to just cut it just slightly beyond the fly itself here, keeping some tension. And right there, this is like almost like a puff daddy variation, but what I love about this pattern is when this thing gets wet, and you look at this fly right here, it looks, when you look at a caddis pupa, the way the casing, that, that pupating caddis, this just gets wet and moist and it just looks like a pupating caddis as it's emerging. So right there, again, very simple pattern, and you can use a variety of different colors, but this little pupating caddis with that CDC feather in place of the partridge is just a good pattern that you can use not only with your granum, but you can use this in any color scheme to match any variety of caddis out there.